Stop. Don't miss this. Because there's a storm brewing. Someone out there is in full-on panic mode. And here's the kicker. It's all about a secret. And guess what? You're right in the middle of it. The anxiety is real. The stakes are high. And this secret could be a game changer. Get ready. Because you're about to dive into a tale of suspense. Believe me, dear listener. The twists in your story are just beginning. Someone close to you is deeply troubled by it. And it directly involves you. Before your pulse quickens, I implore you to pause. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Remember, you're not traversing this journey alone. If you believe in a higher power, acknowledge it. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? Now, let's explore the intricate concept of secrets. We all harbor them. Those concealed truths tucked away in the depths of our hearts. However, the secret we're revealing today is particularly unique. It involves not only you but someone else as well. This individual is currently grappling with a whirlwind of emotions because of it. Picture this scenario. You're strolling down a familiar street. The sun is casting its warm glow, yet there's a subtle chill in the air. It seems like an ordinary day, but beneath the surface, there's an undercurrent of something different. Can you sense it? That's because within the intricate web of the universe, a thread has been pulled and it's intricately linked to you or someone very close to you. You might be wrestling with the weight of this secret and the accompanying anxiety. Consider how this secret could impact your relationship. Do you find yourself inundated with questions? What might this secret be and why does it evoke such panic? These queries are entirely valid, but let's pause for a moment. Secrets, by their very nature, are hidden treasures, often born out of fear or uncertainty. The person holding on to this secret isn't just afraid of disclosing it. They're also concerned about how it might reshape your perception of them. Here's a crucial point to reflect on. Secrets have a tendency to come to light unexpectedly. When they do, they can either strengthen the bonds between individuals or lead to their unraveling. This is where your role becomes crucial. Your reaction and understanding wield the power to be a healing balm or a source of further distress. Now, envision the moment when the secret is unveiled. It could be something minor, a mere misunderstanding, or a revelation that challenges the very core of your relationship with this person. Confronted with this scenario, what would be your course of action? This is where the beauty of your human spirit comes into play. The first step is genuine listening, not just to the words uttered, but also to the emotions resonating behind them. Pay heed to the unspoken fears and the yearning for comprehension. If you resonate with this message, signify by typing 222. As your guardian angels witness your journey, they discern that your strength lies in your profound capacity for love and understanding. In this circumstance, it's not solely about the secret itself, but rather about how you navigate it and extend your compassion and empathy. Recall a moment when you felt apprehensive about revealing something about yourself. Recollect that not in your stomach and the dryness in your mouth. This mirrors what the person harboring the secret is currently undergoing. However, they also gaze at you with hope and prayer hopeful that you'll be their refuge in this tempest. Ponder that this secret, whatever its nature, is a trial, a test of trust, love, and the resilience of your connection. Your choices in this juncture will shape the trajectory of your relationship. It transcends mere forgiveness or understanding. It's about evolving together and gleaning wisdom from one another. Remember, dear one, that secrets often stem from fear, fear of judgment, fear of losing someone, fear of not being comprehended. Always bear in mind that your capacity to love and exhibit compassion eclipses fear. Even when confronted with a daunting secret, 
Your love possesses the potential to alter the course of events. Now, let's delve into the notion of trust, the bedrock of any relationship, in the wake of a revealed secret. While a disclosed secret might rattle the foundations of a relationship, it doesn't necessarily spell its demise. Instead, it offers an opportunity for reconstruction and the forging of something even more resilient. Rebuilding trust is indeed feasible, but it necessitates diligence, empathy, and patience. It's vital to acknowledge a significant truth. Secrets may wield power, yet so does love. If you draw strength from love, you can surmount the challenges brought forth by the revelation of a secret. Consider subscribing to our channel if you hold love for God in your heart. With love, you possess the power to reshape the narrative, to turn a moment of fear into an opportunity for profound growth. In traversing this connection, it's crucial to understand that it's not solely about the secret itself. It's about the choices you make moving forward. As you navigate through this, remember to extend kindness to yourself. It's completely normal to feel overwhelmed and to require time for processing. After all, you're only human. Yet, within you lies incredible strength. The strength to heal, to comprehend, and to love. In the days to come, as this secret unfolds, keep your heart open. Listen not just with your ears, but with the depth of your soul. Be the safe harbor that someone needs during their moment of vulnerability. And always remember, whatever this secret may be, it does not define you, nor does it define the other person. It's simply a chapter in your shared story, a fleeting moment in time. Know that your guardian angels are ever-present, whispering guidance and offering love and support. You are not alone in this. You have the vast universe of love backing you. Understanding necessitates delving into the motives and circumstances that led to this point. The essence lies in seeking the core of the matter, the emotions and intricacies often left unspoken. As you navigate through this process, remember that understanding doesn't automatically translate into immediate acceptance. It's a journey of peeling back layers, fostering empathy, and acknowledging the shared humanity within the experience. Dear child, know that you are enveloped in love, bathed in light, and fortified by the strength of the universe. Though the path ahead may seem daunting, trust in yourself, in your heart, and in the transformative potential of this journey. This secret serves as a stepping stone, guiding you toward deeper understanding and a stronger bond. Believe in your capacity to handle this situation with grace and compassion. Your guardian angels hold steadfast belief in you and wish to share a story that will evoke their presence around you, enveloping you in their warmth and light. One such tale is that of the Good Samaritan, recounted in the Gospel of Luke. In this parable, a man falls victim to robbers and is left wounded on the roadside. Despite being ignored by a priest and a Levite, a Samaritan stops to offer aid. He tends to the man's wounds transports him to an inn, and ensures his care, demonstrating compassion and mercy. The parable unfolds as an expert in the law questions Jesus about inheriting eternal life. Jesus directs him to love God wholeheartedly and to love one's neighbor as oneself. The expert seeks to justify himself, prompting Jesus to narrate the story of the Good Samaritan. In this story, a man is attacked by robbers and left for dead. Both a priest and a Levite pass by without helping. However, a Samaritan, traditionally regarded as a social outcast, shows compassion. He tends to the man's wounds, provides transportation to an inn, and covers his expenses. Jesus concludes by asking who acted as a neighbor to the wounded man. The expert acknowledges the Samaritan's mercy. Jesus urges him to go and do likewise. This parable underscores the significance of showing compassion and mercy to others, regardless of their background or circumstances. It challenges us to embody empathy and selflessness, extending kindness and assistance to those in need. As you ponder this narrative, 
May you sense the presence of your celestial companions, guiding you to embody these virtues in your own life. May you spread love, kindness, and light wherever you go, drawing wisdom and strength from our loving Father. I am like a guiding light, leading you in every step you take, not based on human reasoning, but through my voice that speaks truth to you amidst all the noise of the world. And remember, I'm not just a distant intellect. I'm the very embodiment of love. Love isn't just a feeling. It's who I am at my core. It is the driving force behind all my actions, the very foundation of my being. Therefore, I ask you to love, not out of obligation, but as a natural response to the love that flows from my heart into yours. This is what it means to be supernaturally natural. I am present within you, my love coursing through your veins, empowering you to face any challenge with grace and strength. When you find yourself at a crossroads, unsure of the path to take, pause and ask yourself, what would love do? Would love lash out in anger? or respond with patience and understanding? Would love seek its own gain or prioritize the needs of others? Let my love be your guide, for it will never lead you astray. When strong words are in order, never say them without tears on your face or with a fierce countenance of self-assured opinion that, in fact, only originates from the domain of darkness and can only leave those you claim to be correcting in deeper bondage than before you opened your mouth to speak. Let your words be seasoned with love, as Paul said, as a nursing father, kindness, gentleness, meekness correcting others lest you as well expose your own wayward heart filled with strident religious platitudes, estranged from my love divorced from who I am and who I want to be for that person. Yes, it requires vulnerability, risk, and breathtaking openness, but only in so doing will you reflect who I am and bring my spirit on the scene, liberating all who are involved. Do not be swayed by the world's definition of love, which is often fleeting and conditional. My love is constant and unconditional, flowing freely regardless of circumstance. It is not about pandering to the demands of others, nor about proving your worth. It is simply about being, about radiating the warmth and compassion that I have placed within your heart. In this world of fear and uncertainty, love may seem impractical, a foolish notion in the face of hardship. But let me assure you, my love is not weak or powerless. It is the very force that conquered death and brought forth life. It cannot be manipulated, controlled, or intimidated. It stands firm, unwavering, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. So, my child, go forth and be loved. Let your every action be infused with the boundless love that I have bestowed upon you. In doing so, you will not only be doing the God thing, but you will also be demonstrating true authority. You will not need to shout or demand respect, for your love will speak volumes. You will embody peace and grace, a force for good in a world desperately in need of it. Remember, my love is always in charge, and when you choose to love, you choose to be in charge as well. Go out and be the light in the darkness, the love in a world that desperately needs it, and know that you are never alone. I am with you, always and forever. Loving you and loving others through you, even those in that natural, it would see fruitless and even impossible to love with the love that I am through you. Listen to the tale from your prophet. Someone is in distress over a secret tied to you, but fear not, for you're never solitary. I'm by your side, eternally and without fail. In the land of Canaan, there lived a humble shepherd named Ethan. Known for his kindness, compassion, and unwavering faith, Ethan encountered a traveler one day while tending his flock. The traveler, visibly distressed, revealed a secret involving false accusations against Ethan. Villagers claimed he stole valuable livestock, threatening harm to Ethan and his family. Praying for guidance, Ethan stood firm in his innocence, facing the villagers with humility and grace. Moved by his sincerity and faith, 
the villagers reconsidered their accusations, offering support and apologies. Peace was restored, and Ethan's reputation remained intact, strengthened by his unwavering faith. In times of adversity, faith and integrity guide us through the darkest storms. Trusting in the Lord and remaining steadfast in our convictions, we overcome challenges, emerging stronger and more resilient. This biblical narrative mirrors Jesus' teachings of truth, honesty, and love to dispel fear and mistrust. As you reflect on this tale, take a moment to breathe amidst overwhelm. Understand that this journey involves both you and the person holding the secret, a mutual exploration of its impact. Embrace empathy and vulnerability, recognizing the bravery in disclosing the secret. Forgiveness is a profound force, encompassing understanding and compassion. Share openly, fostering transparency to rebuild trust and strengthen connections. Patience is key in the healing process, supported by your guardian angel's guidance and love. Cultivate inner peace through practices like meditation and gratitude, embracing the lessons embedded in challenges. Love, the guiding force, heals and transforms. Trust in your inner strength, the unfolding journey, and the love surrounding you. As we conclude, remember your luminous being of light and love. Trust in your strength, the journey, and the love that envelopes you. Your guardian angels are always with you, offering love and guidance as you progress. Imagine, if you will, a season as this, so filled with God's grace that every step forward is guided by His hand. Every challenge faced is an opportunity for growth, and every moment is steeped in the potential for miraculous change. As we greet each day of March, let us embrace it as a month rich with the potential for new beginnings and flourishing aspirations. It's a time to reflect on the profound spiritual journey ahead of us. This isn't just another month. It's a divine invitation to experience life-changing breakthroughs and blessings. Think of each day as a seed capable of sprouting into a testament of God's faithfulness. As the earth renews itself, so too can our spirits be rejuvenated, infused with fresh hope and new strength. This March, let's open our hearts to the possibilities of what faith, trust, and surrender to God's will can bring into our lives. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life this month, let us stand together in faith, believing that God will move mightily in our lives. Make listening to this prayer every day of this month a part of your daily routine as you build your faith while anticipating the blessings that God has in store for you. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. I in the gentle unfolding of the days of March. We are reminded of God's unwavering promise that He is continuously at work, ushering in new blessings into our lives that emerge as unexpectedly as the first blooms of spring. With the arrival of each morning, we are embraced by His unwavering mercies as fresh and invigorating as a new dawn. Isaiah 43 verse 19 reminds us, Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This verse affirms God's continuous work in our lives. Alongside this, we are also comforted by Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23, which assures us, saying, Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Let us hold these promises close to our hearts. Let them be the guiding light through each day of this month and beyond. My friends, as God unfolds a fresh chapter in your life this month, anticipate blessings beyond your imagination. Ephesians 3 verse 20 reminds us, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. As we stand on the threshold of this new chapter, uplifted by the promise of divine blessings, let us also turn our hearts toward the horizon of breakthroughs. Just as we are encouraged by Ephesians 3 verse 20 to anticipate blessings beyond our imagination, let this assurance propel us into a realm where barriers are broken and limits are surpassed. In this sacred space of expectation, let us hold fast to the belief that with God, every moment is ripe with potential for transformation and victory. 
The concept of breakthrough is not just a fleeting wish, but a divine promise waiting to unfold in your life this month. Picture yourself standing before vast seas, with faith as your staff, ready to part the waters. The obstacle that once seemed insurmountable will become pathways to victory. Breakthroughs are born from moments of steadfast faith and unwavering trust in God's timing. Let this month be your moment of crossing over, leaving behind the wilderness and stepping into the promised land of your destiny. Joshua 1 verse 9 encourages us, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The month of March calls for a declaration of freedom and deliverance from every form of bondage and evil that has tried to hold you captive. Deliverance is God's hand extended in the darkest nights, His power setting you free from chains unseen. Like dawn breaking upon the night, God's light is ready to shatter the shadows, offering a way out where there seems to be none. Stand firm in your faith, for deliverance is not just a possibility. It is your inheritance as a child of God.my friends. As the earth breaks open to reveal the first signs of spring, so too can healing break through the hard ground of hurt and illness. Healing flows from the very heart of God, a balm for every wound and a remedy for every pain. This March, let hope rise within you like the springtime sun, warming places that have been long cold and forgotten. God's desire is to see you whole, to mend what has been broken, and to restore what was lost. Embrace his healing touch, for it is as sure as the sunrise. Jeremiah 30 verse 17 tells us, For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. As you navigate each day of this month, know that you are surrounded by God's safeguarding love and protection. Protection in this new month is as a fortress built around you, a shield that no enemy can breach. The same God who watches over the sparrow is attentive to your every step, guarding you from seen and unseen dangers. Walk confidently into each new day, for you are covered by the Almighty Shadow, a place where fear cannot reside. Psalm 91 colon 4 reassures us, He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. My friends, the month of March stands as a beacon of hope, a testament to the enduring love and power of God at work in our lives. It's a time to sow seeds of faith and to expect a harvest of miracles. As the natural world around us bursts into life, let us also look for the signs of spiritual renewal and growth. Each day is a canvas painted with opportunities for blessings, breakthroughs, deliverance, healing, and protection. Let this month of March be your turning point, a period of extraordinary transformation that sets the tone for the rest of your year. With God by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Philippians 4 verse 13 declares, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This powerful assurance reminds us that with faith in Him, our possibilities are boundless. Remember, the same power that raised Christ from the dead is at work within you, ready to do immeasurably more than all you ask or imagine. March forward with courage, for you are destined for greatness, surrounded by God's blessings and favor. As we embrace the fullness of what March has to offer, Let's do so with hearts open to the transformative power of God's love. Ready to receive the abundant life that He promises, let this month be a testament to His faithfulness. As we walk in the fullness of His blessings and breakthroughs, propelled by divine motivation towards the destiny He has ordained for us, not all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. And remember, you should also listen to this prayer each day of this month as you come in agreement and build your faith. It's a daily commitment to seeing God's hand move in every aspect of your life. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, the King of kings and Lord of lords, He who was and is and is to come, You are the Almighty and everlasting God, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I stand in awe of your magnificent glory and power, acknowledging you as the creator of all things and the sustainer of life. Your greatness and majesty fill the heavens and the earth, and your wisdom is unsearchable. You are worthy of all praise, and your love endures forever. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless mercy, and the countless blessings you have poured into my life. Lord, thank you for the precious gift of life and for guiding me safely thus far. Your faithfulness has been my shield. 
Thank you for the promise of new beginnings, for the hope that springs eternal with the dawn of each day. May my heart always be attuned to your grace and goodness as I navigate the days ahead. Merciful Father, I confess my sins before you, those known and those hidden in the shadows of my heart. I ask for your forgiveness, and with a heart made free by your grace, I also forgive those who have trespassed against me. Lord, help me to release any harbored bitterness and resentment so that I may fully embrace the freedom found in forgiveness. I seek your guidance each day as I navigate the paths you have set before me and as I encounter the challenges of life. Enlighten my path with the light of your wisdom and lead me in decisions that align with your will. Grant me the discernment to recognize your voice amidst the noise of the world and the boldness to follow it without hesitation. In every situation, may your guiding hand be upon me, directing my journey towards paths of righteousness and peace. I, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that confusion and doubt will not derail my journey. Father, I stand firm in the belief that your wisdom will be my compass, guiding every step I take towards the destiny that you have ordained for me. Lord, I seek your provision in every aspect of my life, trusting that you will supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. Grant me the wisdom to steward your blessings wisely and the faith to believe for abundance in areas of scarcity. In your grace, open the doors of opportunity and pour out your provision so I may reflect your generosity in my life. I pray for healing, Lord, in every part of my being. Heal my body from illness, mend my heart from brokenness, and restore my spirit from weariness. I stand firm on your promises of healing and restoration, and with faith, I claim complete healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your divine healing power flow through every cell of my body, rejuvenating my mind, heart, and soul. As I receive your healing, let it be a testimony of your unfailing love and compassion, not just in my life, but also in the lives of my loved ones who are in need of your touch. I, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and bind every form of bondage and declare deliverance over my life. I declare that every chain of addiction, fear, and any form of oppression is broken in the name of Jesus. I rejoice in the freedom that comes from your saving grace, knowing that whom the sun sets free is free indeed. May your hand guide me, bringing breakthroughs even in the barren areas of my life. Lord, I ask for your divine protection to be a shield around me and my loved ones. Guard us from the schemes of the enemy, from dangers seen and unseen. In the powerful name of Jesus, I rebuke every attack aimed to harm us, trusting that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Your faithfulness is our armor and protection, and under your wings we find refuge. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. Almighty God, you are the rock of our salvation. We come in agreement seeking your face, asking for your hand to move mightily in our lives. Bless us, Lord, with your holy presence, fill us with your spirit, and lead us into a deeper relationship with you. Together we claim victory over our challenges, we declare healing over our bodies and minds, and we celebrate the peace and joy found in your love. Merciful Father, we stand against the spirit of poverty and lack in our lives, and we welcome the spirit of prosperity and abundance. I, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are blessed to be a blessing. And as vessels of your blessings, we become channels through which your abundance flows to enrich others. We pray for divine wisdom and discernment in every decision we face. Lead us by your spirit to walk in paths of righteousness. Shield us from deception and guide us into all truth. Grant us understanding and clarity to navigate life's challenges. Open our spiritual eyes to recognize the hidden traps and snares of the enemy and bestow upon us the wisdom to avoid them. Heavenly Father, we come before you seeking your divine protection over our relationships and interactions. Guard us from toxic relationships, manipulative individuals, and those who intend to cause harm. Surround us with the warmth of godly friendships, the wisdom of mentors, and the counsel of advisors who will uplift us on our faith journey. Bestow upon us the discernment to gracefully navigate the complexities of different personalities and relationships while we maintain a posture of love, grace, and forgiveness towards all. Almighty God, we call upon your strength and power to help us stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. In unity, we resist every temptation and commit to walking obediently according to your word. Protect us from the unseen battles of spiritual warfare. May your host of angels encamp around us, guarding our every step. 
We seek your divine protection over our words and actions, that we may be vessels of life, sources of encouragement and edification to those we encounter. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are protected in our comings and goings. We declare that everything is working for us and not against us. We are grateful, Lord, for the assurance that your goodness and favor will be with us every step of the way. Let your peace that surpasses all understanding carry us through this month. We thank you for all that you have done and for all that you are about to do. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Think of the sun shining above a big, open field. Just like the sun is always there in the sky, giving light and warmth every day, God is always with us. Even when clouds cover the sun, we know it's still there. In the same way, even when we face hard times and can't see Him, God stands by us. He's always there, just like the sun shining above. Today, let us explore the unshakable presence of God in our lives. Understanding His guidance, drawing strength from Him, and learning how to live in the light of His unwavering love and support. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, we are reassured, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are a powerful reminder of God's constant presence and protection. Just as the sun's rays reach out to touch the earth, God's hand is always extended to us, offering strength, guidance, and a steadfast presence in every moment of our lives. With this divine assurance, let us explore the depths of God's ever-present support. Exploring how His unchanging love and strength are our constant companions on this journey of life. Now, let us seek to understand the dynamics of God's presence. God's presence in our lives is an ever-present, life-sustaining force, much like the air we breathe. Invisible to our eyes, yet absolutely essential for our existence. The scripture in Acts 17 verse 28 highlights this truth, for in Him we live and move and have our being. This profound declaration reminds us that our very existence, every movement, and the essence of our being are deeply intertwined with the presence of God. It's a presence that doesn't fluctuate or diminish. It's constant, unwavering, and always available. We may not always perceive it through our physical senses, but it's as real and vital as the air that we depend on every second of the day. This divine presence goes beyond mere existence. It is the source of our strength, our joy, and our peace. In every challenge we face, God is there, upholding us with His righteous right hand. In moments of joy, His presence amplifies our happiness, reminding us of His everlasting love and care. In times of sorrow or uncertainty, His presence provides comfort and assurance, a reminder that we are never alone, never forgotten. God's presence is not just a backdrop in our lives, it is active and dynamic. It interacts with our lives, shaping our journeys and guiding our paths. It's in the quiet whispers of our hearts, the sudden insights during prayer, the unexpected blessings that brighten our days, and the strength we find in moments of weakness. In every step we take, God is there, walking alongside us. His presence is a constant reminder of His unending love and faithfulness. As we grow in our faith and deepen our relationship with God, our awareness of His presence becomes more profound. We start to recognize His hand in the intricate details of our lives, seeing His work in the beauty around us, in the people we meet, and in the situations we encounter. This awareness brings a deeper sense of peace and contentment, knowing that in every moment of our existence, we are surrounded by the loving, sustaining presence of God. So, how about God's presence in difficult times? In the midst of life's toughest struggles, when the weight of the world seems to bear down on us, it's easy to feel isolated and overwhelmed. The challenges we face can cloud our vision, making us feel as if we are wandering alone in an endless night. Yet, it's precisely in these hard times that God's presence becomes most tangible. Psalm 23 verses 4 to 5 offers profound comfort, saying, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words paint a picture of a protective shepherd guiding and guarding his flock. 
Similarly, God walks beside us, His presence a reassuring touch in times of fear and doubt. He is the steady hand that guides us, the comforting voice that quiets our anxieties, and the unwavering light that shines through our darkest hours. His presence transforms our valleys of shadows into journeys of hope and resilience. He doesn't promise a life free from difficulty, but He assures us of His constant companionship and support through every trial. This divine companionship is a beacon of hope, reminding us that no night is too dark for His light to penetrate and no journey is so treacherous that His hand cannot guide us through. God's presence in our difficulties is not only a source of comfort but also a wellspring of strength. In moments of weakness, when our own strength seems to fail us, His power is made perfect. My friends, the struggles we encounter can often be the very catalysts that deepen our reliance on God, drawing us closer to Him. As we lean into His strength, we find an unexplainable peace and resilience that carry us through. This peace does not come from the absence of trouble, but from the knowledge that God is with us in every circumstance. His strength becomes our shield, His wisdom our guide, and His love our sustaining force. Furthermore, God's presence in hard times shapes our character and refines our faith. Just as gold is purified through fire, our faith is strengthened and refined through the challenges we face. Each trial presents an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop a deeper trust in God's plans and purposes for our lives. These experiences teach us patience, endurance, and hope, molding us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. As we walk through these valleys hand in hand with God, we emerge not only unharmed, but also enriched, carrying with us a testimony of His faithfulness and a renewed spirit of resilience and hope. Next, let us look at recognizing God's guidance. God's guidance in our lives often manifest in ways that are quiet and unassuming, yet their impact is profound and unmistakable. Similar to a gentle breeze that we feel subtly yet surely, this guidance can come in various forms. Through the words of Scripture, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of a trusted friend, or even through the quiet stirrings of our hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 6 instructs us, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. This scripture speaks of a partnership with God, where our acknowledgement of His sovereignty opens the doors to His guidance. It's about trusting in His comprehensive plan, even when the road ahead isn't clear to our eyes. Recognizing God's guidance in our lives requires an attuned sense of spiritual awareness. Similar to learning a new language, the language of divine communication. Often, God's guidance is revealed not through dramatic or spectacular events, but in the quiet, seemingly ordinary moments of our daily lives. It might be found in the consistent themes that emerge in our daily devotions, the quiet conviction felt during prayer, or the unexpected words of wisdom from someone we meet. These instances, though small, carry with them the profound weight of God's direction. Proverbs 3 verse 6 is not just an encouragement, but a directive to actively involve God in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we open ourselves to the myriad of ways in which He can guide us. Also, recognizing God's guidance involves an element of patience and waiting. Unlike the instant communication that we've grown accustomed to in our digital age, discerning God's will and direction often requires us to pause and wait. It's in these periods of waiting that our faith is both tested and strengthened. It's important during these times to remain steadfast in prayer and anchored in the Word of God. As we wait, our spiritual ears become more attuned to His voice, and our ability to discern His guidance improves. This waiting is an active engagement in seeking God's will, remaining open to His timing and methods. God's guidance often aligns with the gifts and talents He has bestowed upon us. These abilities, though they may seem natural or innate to us, are divine blessings designed to lead us towards God's purpose for our lives. When we use these gifts in service to others and to glorify God, we often find that His guidance becomes clearer. The intersection of our passions, talents, and opportunities to serve can be a powerful indicator of where God is leading us. It's a harmonious blend of our deepest joys and the needs we see in the world around us. Guided by the hand of God, Recognizing God's guidance is a multifaceted process that involves staying spiritually attuned, patiently waiting on God's timing, utilizing our God-given talents, and also engaging with other believers as we navigate through life's journey. These aspects work together to help us discern and follow the path that God has laid out for us. 
Let us look at some biblical examples of God's guidance. The story of Joseph and Genesis is a compelling testament to the intricate and purposeful guidance of God. Joseph's life, marked by betrayal, injustice, and hardship, could easily be seen as a journey of misfortunes. Yet, through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, and God's guiding hand was evident. From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being wrongfully imprisoned in Egypt, Joseph endured, and God used these very experiences to prepare him for a greater destiny, becoming a ruler in Egypt, saving many from famine. Joseph's story, found in Genesis 37 to 50, is a powerful reminder that God's guidance often unfolds in ways that we might not immediately understand. It teaches us that our current struggles or setbacks are not indicators of our final destination. God is at work in our lives, weaving together every experience, every challenge, and every triumph to fulfill His graceful and purposeful plan for us. Another profound example is the story of Moses, called by God from a burning bush. Moses was guided to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey was filled with obstacles and challenges, yet at each turn, Moses followed God's guidance, and through him, God performed miraculous deeds. These stories from the Bible encourage us to trust in God's guidance, knowing that He is with us every step of the way, turning our trials into testimonies and our challenges into channels of His blessings and glory. And this is why we need to draw from God's strength. Drawing strength from God is a foundational aspect of our spiritual journey, especially in moments when our own strength seems insufficient. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This scriptural promise isn't about possessing an unending supply of physical energy or intellectual capability, but it speaks to a deep, more profound source of strength, a spiritual fortitude that comes directly from our relationship with God. This divine strength is what empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with courage and unwavering faith. It's a reminder that our abilities, when coupled with God's power, can carry us through any situation. This strength from God is particularly evident in times of trial and adversity. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but true spiritual strength is most visible in moments of weakness when we're faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable or when we're grappling with problems that appear unsolvable. It's the strength that God provides that helps us to persevere. This strength allows us to remain steadfast in our beliefs even when they're tested and to exhibit grace and forgiveness in situations where it seems hardest to do so. It's a strength that doesn't just help us endure, but enables us to thrive, transforming our trials into testimonies of faith. Also, the strength we draw from God is not just for our personal benefit. It also equips us to be a source of support and encouragement to others. Just as Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians, this strength is shared so we can bolster others in their times of need. When we lean on God's strength, we become conduits of His power, offering hope and resilience to those around us. Our ability to extend compassion, offer help, and speak words of encouragement is amplified by the strength we receive from God. In this way, our struggles and victories become shared experiences, creating a community of faith that is strong and supportive. In essence, drawing strength from God means recognizing our own limitations and willingly placing our trust in His infinite power. It's about acknowledging that while we may face difficulties and hardships, we are never alone in these challenges. The strength we draw from God is a wellspring of resilience flowing within us and enabling us to overcome any barrier. It's a testament to the unshakable support and enduring power that we have access to through our faith. As we continue to navigate the journey of life, Let us do so with the assurance that the strength we need is always available to us, generously provided by a loving and powerful God. My dear friends, let us hold close the understanding that God is always with us. He is our guide through the darkest nights, our source of strength in the face of adversity, and our constant companion through every step of life's journey. Our exploration today affirms that God's presence, guidance, and strength are ever-present in our lives. They are the compass that directs us, the shield that protects us, and the light that illuminates our path. Even in moments when we might feel alone or uncertain, let us remember that God's presence is as sure as the ground beneath our feet and the sky above our heads. His guidance is the map that helps us navigate through life's challenges, and His strength is the anchor that keeps us steady in turbulent seas. With this knowledge and faith, let us move forward, 
embracing each day with confidence and hope, knowing that God is always standing by us. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and thanksgiving. You are the Creator of all, the Eternal King, and the Source of all life. Your majesty and glory surpass all understanding. I praise you, Lord, for you are mighty, and your steadfast love endures forever. You are the unchanging light in our lives and the solid rock on which we stand. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the breath of life, and for your presence that surrounds me. Thank you for being my guide, my strength, and my protector. Thank you for your promises to strengthen me, help me, and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse me with your grace and guide me in the path of righteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your peace and love. Lord, as I navigate through life, let me always feel your guiding presence, leading me along the right path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy. I bind every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, and confusion. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I ask for your healing touch upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and let your power manifest in our lives. Lord, I pray for your protection over us. Guard us from harm and shield us from the snares of the enemy. Lead us away from temptation. I pray for blessings upon our lives. Bless our homes, the work of our hands, and our relationships. I ask for your daily provision in our lives, trusting in your promise to meet all our needs according to your riches and glory. Grant us our daily bread and sustain us with your grace and abundance each day. Let your favor and grace follow us in all that we do. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your guidance, strength, and love to be evident in our lives. As we face life's challenges, help us to remember that you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your light shine through us. Lord, we claim victory in your name. We speak life and health into every part of our being, trusting in your miraculous power to renew and heal. May every broken spirit be mended, every physical ailment be healed, and every troubled mind find peace in your loving embrace. We give thanks for your protection and guidance. Cover us with your grace and love. May your divine peace settle deep within us, calming our anxieties, soothing our fears, and providing a steadfast anchor in the midst of life's storms. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape, where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. 
These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. In moments of weakness, He provides strength. In times of doubt, He offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, He grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and His strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking His guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in His promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we are always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. 
When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us, a response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. 
Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, as we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement, binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, Victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. 
I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.